So ladies and gentlemen, we talked about the draft bus of Lindsay Vallis, request from uh, Kendall Guyberson, and Kendall also wanted me to do something on this player, which was a cousin to Vallis playing with Seattle. We're going to talk about the curious case and probably one of the biggest busts of the 1990s for the Montreal Canadiens, and there were lots, Brent Bilodeau. Now, born in the great Alberta community of Clyde, he was 6'4", 230 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. He got his uh, big recognition with the St. Albert Saints of the AJHL. Eventually ended up with the Seattle Thunderbirds, where, of course, Vallis had put up some good numbers. Uh, after a second strong season with uh, Seattle, where he had uh, 25 points in 55 games, he ended up being drafted by the Montreal Canadiens in a 91 draft, first overall. First overall, ladies and gentlemen, for a, a big defenseman. You could have wasted number two or number three. Uh, 92 season, split time with Seattle and the Swift Current Broncos. Uh, and with Swift Current, 93, another strong season. 57 points in his first season with uh, Swift Current, 68 points in the second season. So he's putting up solid numbers, ladies and gentlemen. But he holds a very distinct uh, record. Now, Considered a defensive defenseman, a lot of Montreal Canadian scouts and executives had thought, hey, you know, this is going to suit Montreal. They were working a defensive style. But he never played a single game for the Habs or any other NHL team. Now, he's the only first-round draftee of that draft, 91, not to play any games in the NHL. He played in numerous minor pro leagues, and he retired as a member of the Johnstown Chiefs of the ECHL after the... 2004-05 season. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a long list. Please bear with me. Played two years at Franklin. Didn't call. Get called up to to the big team. 96. He played with a one of the best hockey names of all time, the San Francisco Spiders of the IHL. Then he moved on to the St. John Flames of the IHL, San Antonio Dragons. Then the infamous Las Vegas Thunder. Then to the Tacoma SaberCats. Back to the Thunder. Then to the Kansas City Blades for two years in the IHL. Then with the Johnstown Chiefs in 99-2000. Then back with the Hershey Bears for a cup of coffee. And back to Jonestown where he finished up his career with five straight years with that uh, very popular uh, franchise. Now, his best season as a pro were uh, pretty well with Johnstown. Now, don't get me wrong, Johnstown, the ECHL did have some good players and good team. But these were kind of the B-level former AHLers and NHLers trying to get back. But what really was kind of bizarre here, he was born in Canada, but he ended up being a big part of the 92 and 93 World Junior Under-20 team for the USA. He was a dual citizen, according to that. Now, in the ECHL, he gave back as an assistant. He was an assistant coach with the Las Vegas Wranglers from 06 to 08. Then moved his head to coach of the Wichita uh, Thunder uh, for the CHL. Uh, first season with Wichita, 20-40-41 out of the playoffs. Second season, 2-7, and seven, and he was gone. But he went back to the WHL in 11-12 and 12 as assistant coach for the Tri-City Americans. Now, now Bilodeau Bil 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 allegedly, two, two, three and a thought, some people said he was born in Clyde, Alberta. Some people said he was born in Dallas. But he was born in Dallas, uh, but put down Clyde because his father, Yvonne, was a member of the CHL's Dallas Blackhawks. Uh, um, now, he learned to skate in age two, and allegedly he learned uh, he played hockey starting at age five, which is novice initiation age. Now, his father, Yvonne Bilodeau, was a former Flyers draft pick, sele selected in the sixth round, in the 1971 entry draft, and Uncle Bob was a former Atlanta Flames draft pick, selected in the ninth round uh, in the 73 NHL entry draft. Now, he is married also to a very uh, great player, former WNBA uh, uh, player Cass Bauer Bilodeau. So the family talent runs in the family very heavily. Uh, so, but one one thing one thing about. Uh, uh, one, t one thing about Bellado, like I said, a lot of people believe he had a potential to be a defenseman, defensive defenseman for uh, an NHL team. Didn't work out. 
But let's look at the final totals. AHL, 22 points on 139 games. IHL totals, 46 points in 214 games. ECHL totals, 168 points in 414 games. So, ladies and gentlemen, almost 800 minor pro games, distinction in itself. And like I said, I can't criticize Bilodeau because I did see him in a few exhibition games. And I thought he was going to make the big team. And, uh, you know, it just didn't work out. Listen, hope you enjoyed the podcast. Again, blame Kendall Guyverson. Great mind for hockey, and he made a request. And this is the second or the third one. Have a great evening. Bye.